Is coding necessary to create a website? The answer is no. Today, I'll show you how to build your very own website in just 10 minutes using SiteJet Builder. Yes, you heard that right, just 10 minutes, and you don't need any technical skills. Get ready! Step 1, the pre-build checklist. Before you start designing, you need two things, domain name and web hosting. If you've got those, awesome, but before we jump into building the website, there are a few important things to think about. Understand the basics. Define the purpose and goals of your website. Identify your target audience. Decide on the features and functionalities you need. Plan your content structure and sitemap. You should also be ready with your website content. Here's a quick checklist. Gather and create all necessary content, text, images, videos. Write clear, engaging, and SEO-friendly copy. Prepare multimedia assets, logos, icons, banners. Plan for regular content updates and maintenance. Step 2. Open SiteJet Builder from cPanel. If you're using web hosting from M2 Host, you get SiteJet Builder for free. First, log into your cPanel. Look on the left-hand side and click SiteJet Builder. Pick the domain where you want your site to live and hit Try SiteJet. And just like that, you're inside the builder. Step 3. Choose a design. SiteJet gives you a bunch of ready-made templates, clean, modern, and organized by industry. Choose a template that resonates with your website goals. While choosing a template, think and out a website style, theme, or layout. Once you found your ideal template, just click Choose and start to build your website. Step 4. Explore the user interface. Once your template is open, on the left, you'll find all the tools and elements you can use to build your site. On the top, you'll see controls for saving, previewing, and accessing settings. Under More, you'll find additional features like SEO settings, language options, and integrations. Step 5. Let's start designing. First, we will start with logo. To change logo just double-click it, click Upload, and add your own. Don't forget to click Change Globally so it updates across all your pages. Now, let's fix the text. Double-click any headline or paragraph to rewrite it. And here's a cool trick, SiteJet has an AI assistant. Click the AI icon, tell it what kind of text you need, and it'll generate it for you. You can also polish grammar or improve the tone, super handy. Want to change fonts? Go to the More section choose or upload a new font. Want to change an image? Double-click it. You can upload your own or choose from SiteJet's stock photo library, no need to leave the builder. Now, let's add link to your contain. Double-click the contain you want to add link and click on link. From here you can add link of any page or element. You can also add external links also. Step 6. Manage Pages Click on the Pages tab to add new pages like Contact, About, Services and more. You can create new pages, duplicate existing ones, or edit them individually. Step 7. Optimize for all devices your site should look good on all devices, desktop, tablet, and mobile. Click the device icons to preview your site on different screens. Make small tweaks to ensure everything looks perfect everywhere. Step 8. Final Touches Before publishing, do a quick final check. Click More for SEO Settings. Add a site title, meta description, and connect tools like Google Analytics. Want to make your site multilingual? You can do that here too. Use the preview button to view the full site. 
Step 9. Publish it. And when you're ready, just hit publish. That's it. Your website is now live, and the best part? You built it yourself. Congratulations on launching your new website. And don't worry. If you need to make changes later, you can easily edit your site again with SiteJet Builder. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and tap like, hit subscribe, and let me know in the comments what kind of site you're building, I'd love to check it out.